Junior Drive. This channel is for preteens or for anyone who, like me, enjoys the So and So Show. We get really funny content each week, and we also get a question to talk about to help us apply what we're learning and what the Bible says to our lives. So you can check that out. Every week there is a parent guide because, you know, talking to your parents is cool and they can help you figure this stuff out. So there's a parent guide that has everything on one sheet. It even has an activity to do, and it has that question so you can discuss. There's also a God time card for you to do so that you can uh, just dig a little deeper, apply what you're learning, and get closer to God. All right, this is called remote control. The choice is yours. You know, do you ever feel like maybe you, you wish you could just press pause? Like you maybe you just need to think for a second or, or maybe you just wanna fast forward right through this pandemic, right? That'd be, that'd be great. Or sometimes maybe you just need to rewind and, and figure out what just happened, right? So I felt like that sometimes where I wish I could just rewind, have a do-over, maybe I've lost my cool, I've said or done something I shouldn't have. Well, I want us to think about a remote when it comes to self-control, which we are defining like this. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. Been there, right? We know what that feels like. It's really hard, right? That's what we're talking about this whole month. So as we check out this week's Bible story and hear our question for today, I want you to, to think through that. And we have a great verse that's going to sum it all up. So I want you to, to memorize this. 2 Peter 1.3. It says, His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. So that means God has given us everything that we need to choose self-control, even when it's hard, even when we don't want to. Let's get into it. All right, what do I want? Uh, oh, that's okay. That's nice. That's old. Remember to throw that out. What? Ooh, that's nasty! Who put this in here? That's tasty. Yummy for my tummy. <laughs> Welcome to the So and So Welcome to Show. The so -and -so show. <laughs> I'm Brandon. Uh, I'm John. And we are glad that you are hanging out with us today. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh, uh, haven't we all learned our lesson from playing with that universal remote? Hi, Santos Cielos. Por qué estoy hablando en español? The words on the screen are not what I'm saying. Look, can you see how that's different? Oh, buddy, I think you rule. Ah! Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just. What's this gib button? What? Where this? There's this G I B B button. I've never seen it on a remote. No idea. Before. Can you please put the remote control down? Uh, uh, please put it down. Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you. Yeah, of, of course. That is, Sorry. It's all right. Today's show is all about our words and how we should choose them carefully. John. Ooh. Yub. Yub yub yah yah. Zippy la la wee wah. Uh, zup. Blah, 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 blah. Go, Link! Shub, sub, jib, shinkle, shockle. Chaka, laka, zip, zub. Uh, uh, brin, brin, san, san. Shinkle, uh, chinkle, drim, drum. Oh. Lapple, wapple, wenny, penny. Oh, kinkle, winkle. Uh, uh, Jimmy, wimmy, limmy, libby, mabby. Uh, ah. Wub, wub, loopy, zoo, zoo. Creek, single, single, can, can. Apple, apple, mean <laughs> gene. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. Zoop, Lulu, Zippy, Loo, Woo. <sighs> Scoop, plop, blue, blue, blue. Low, 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 zoop, zoop. Chipple, chipple, crug, rug. Scans, jibble, wibble, dime, care, bapple! Hoo-hoo, wobble, dobble!
Nab Nab Jim Juper. Clean Sling Gib Jobber. Jude Jot Slan Rankles Pandoot. Sly. Croon. Huh. Happy Slappy. Well, oh, you're, you're speaking, speaking normal. normal. <laughs> oh, we can we can understand. Oh, no. we can understand each oh, other. And you need to put this away. Yes, I good. do. Thank you. You know, you should never push the jib button. I didn't realize it would make us speak gibberish. What did you think it did? It made us sound like Barry Gibb. <laughs> What you got for us, Kellen? Today's Bible story is all about our words and the power they have. Cool. Yeah. And I was going to tell it with a video game. Are you guys in? We're, We're in. in. Perfect. The game is called The Power of Words. Sounds fun. Yeah. In Proverbs 12, verse 18, King Solomon wrote, The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Our words are so powerful. So when we're careless and we don't think about what we're going to say, they can cause major damage. But if we're thoughtful and select our words wisely, they can do amazing things. So our mission is to find people and then choose to say a thoughtful word? That's it. On it. Oh, oh, oh there's a doorway. Go over there. Go over there. Oh, right okay, there, right go, there. Go, there's go, a door. Go on, go on. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder what this weird old gray beard has to say. <laughs> Are you here to make fun of me too and call me weird old gray beard like other people do? Whoops. Ah. Uh, I'm only 20 and I have a long gray beard. That doesn't make me weird or old. I, I, but I, I didn't mean to. I, I, I think we're supposed to choose our words carefully now. Oh, okay, so well, what do we say? I don't know. Probably what you would want to hear if you were that person. Ah, ah. I'm sorry. People call me names sometimes too. It doesn't feel great. It's nice to know someone understands. Yeah. We did it! Yeah. Well done! Sometimes the most thoughtful thing you can say to someone is, I'm sorry, or I understand where you're coming from. Keep going. Take the top path. Top the, path? the top path. The top path. I'm going the, I'm take that top path. I am, I am. Oh, okay. Oh, go talk to that guy over there. I, that would guy you right please there. let me do this? Yeah. Hello, I'm Uno. Oh, I got this one. Move, you're blocking the stairs. Boo hoo, no one ever wants to talk to me. They just want to go down the stairs. Oh no, Uno, Thought, come back. Thoughtful words, Brandon, know, thoughtful I'm, words. I'm sorry, I was just, I wasn't thinking. It's okay, none of us are perfect with our words all the time, but we definitely should try and think before we speak. Why don't you guys try one more board? Okay. Oh, go down the stairs. Go down yeah. the stairs. There's stairs I, I know, right there. Obviously, I'm going. Okay. Hello, I'm Bananas. What do you want? <laughs> Maybe you better take this one. Uh, um. Hello, Bananas. How is your day today? None of your business. Hey. Why, you little... Wait, wait, John. You never know what kind of day someone could be having. Let's think before we type. You're right. Uh, well, Bananas, I just wanted to tell you I think your name is really cool. Oh, that's so nice. I was having a bad day, but now I feel better. Here's a bag of gold! Uh, yeah! We did it! <laughs> Guys, that was so great. You use thoughtful words even 
when the person you were talking to wasn't very thoughtful. You were right. We don't know what kind of day other people are having. And sometimes our words can make a huge difference in someone's day and in someone's life. And sometimes our words get us free gold. I mean, I guess that's possible, but it probably shouldn't be your only reason for using kind words. Got it. Remember the verse, the words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, and thanks for the batteries. Zub, yub, yib, yib. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys you. next time. <laughs> I think it's time to reveal the question. How can words make things better? Hmm. Uh, I think words can help explain things or help someone understand. Yeah, words can also tell someone how you feel or uh, tell them how they could help. You, you know, when we were stuck speaking gibberish earlier, all I wanted was to be understood. You know, it's amazing how many people just want to hear those simple words. I hear you. It's true. So many arguments and misunderstandings could be turned down a few notches if just a few thoughtful words were used. Yeah. Well, here's a thoughtful word for you, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Good show. Thank you, John. I hear you, and I understand where you're coming from. <gasps> and that's the So and So Show, everyone. It hits right there, right there in the heart. Aww. It feels good. Bop, stoop, bop, lee bop. Come, 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 Fling! Blow, 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 bl